your first time, welcome to the show. Um, right now we're going to be doing October's Mission Tackle Box Pro Panfish and Trout. This is probably my, this is like such an oddball thing because I live in the Pacific Northwest obviously. So these trout boxes are really neat because I get things that I wouldn't normally be able to find in the stores in my area. Whether it's because it's not U.S. market or it's just something that's not sold in the Pacific Northwest or marketed heavily here. All right, let's get this thing cracked open real quick. Uh, I already did cheat a little bit and check some stuff out, so we'll just we'll just set that over there for right now. Um, first up, we've got some cream plastic worms. These are bright orange grub tails. Uh, inch and a half. Let's go ahead and crack this open. This color is neat. This is this is one of those staple, super solid colors that you just can't go wrong with. Um, yeah, this would be a great trailer for really anything. Or just throw it in a jig head. Maybe put a little spinner guy on the front of it. Actually, I think I have sort of what I'm talking about kind of already rigged up right here. Uh, doo -doo. Or not. I think I could be completely wrong. Yeah. I think I did, but I don't. Anyway, so you just take a jig head, and then they sell like a little Colorado blade arm that you can tie onto, and this would be absolutely perfect with that. Silver or copper, it doesn't really matter. Um, it really depends on your watercolor. But that's that's super solid. I, I love grub tails. They're just so universally good at everything. Um, you can catch bass on them, you can do cra uh, crappie, you can do trout, you can do fish, perch, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, this is our price list for everything that came in the box. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see this. It's not really that important. These boxes are always packed with value anyway. Um, so these are n number four, rotating light wire panfish hooks. I, I know what they are, I just wanted you guys to see it. Um, yeah. I don't really, I don't live, use live bait really at all, besides the fact that it's kind of a pain to get live bait in my area. But yeah. So there's your hook. It's got a rotational bend in it. And it's kind of an offset shank. Kind of hard to for me to show this to you because it's such light wire, but this is perfect for those sneaky panfish. I would not try to use this on a trout. I think a trout would stra straighten this thing right out, but like a bluegill or a crappie, maybe I think you get away with this. All right, Mismo. Ooh, these look like tubes. There are many tubes, so that's pretty cool. Once again, like my only complaint about this box is that they never give you size appropriate jig heads. I think I think they did like two months ago for the first time in like a year. But yeah, it's a tube jig. It's kind of like a kind of like a dirty watercolor almost, with a little black flake in it. I mean, subtle, simple, does the job. Uh, this color itself, I don't think I've ever used quite this pale. I was kind of hoping that these were going to be a little bit more of a chartreuse, but they're not. But that up color might be the ticket. Oof. Alright. Ooh, we got blade bait. So this is an Acme V-Rod. Uh, does it give us a weight? Quarter of an ounce. They call this color Pony Boy. Now, I have realized in the water around me, the wild fish, they prefer like your whites, your silvers, your more neutral tones. Maybe like, well, they would hit this orange because this works great. Um, they'll also hit like yellows and greens and whatnot like that. But I for whatever reason, the hatchery fish and the stock trout in my lakes around me and the rivers and the hatchery fish, they love 
pink and they love chartreuse and this this is a little bit of everything enough i think this would be ideal this would hit both um well, that's kind of upsetting. The little clip for the back of it's just laying on the hook. I mean, I can I can put that on. That's not a big deal. It's just I'm kind of surprised that's not put on there a little better. Let's just go ahead and slip that in that middle slot. There we go. But yeah, for those of you that have never used a blade bait, I highly recommend it. Um, it's a neat. It's a neat. It's a neat way to catch fish. You can jig it up and down like a jig. You can cast it and retrieve it, kind of do like a yo-yo through the water with it if you want to, or you can just straight retrieve it. And I've even had luck on like the steel shad, like the two and a half inch guys, trolling it, oddly enough. I just tried it one day. I was like, ah, I'll try it, see what happens. Works great. Um, you can also cast blade baits really well. They're not just for jigging, so don't be afraid to just experiment that's actually a really cool bait nice little hooks the color on it's great it's subtle but it's just enough which is cool all right uh we got some paddle tails here wesson shad's shad tease slim and sparkling green crack this open real quick get one of these little guys out of here Weston baits, I've I found they're really they're pretty good quality, you know. It's a little surprising, like this little guy here. Uh, yeah, you you might be able to make it out, but it's got an eye. It's got a little bitty baby eye. It looks just like a little minnow. Um, it's got a slit on the back for your hook. It's got a slit in the belly to kind of tuck that hook up in there multiple layers that were poured into this plus it's got like a scale texture i don't know if the camera's going to pick all this up because this is such a small finesse bait um to fish this i would recommend maybe i mean obviously you could drop shot this you could probably yeah you could definitely drop shot this this would be an awesome drop shot weight uh, but even maybe you could fish it weightless on like the smallest CWG hook you could find. I mean, you could put a jig head on it, but it would take kind of that finesse presence away from it. Uh, maybe you could get a, cut this a little bit and try to slip like a tube jig head on it. See how that worked. But I think the smallest EWG you can find, or the smallest like, I don't even want to say bait hook. Any type of worm or Essentially, you're going to do anything you can to make this Texas rig. I think would be an ideal ticket with this. Especially in rivers. This would be cool. Just get some weight on this somewhere. If you get like a tiny underspin, or maybe like a, yeah, a tiny weighted hook. Like the smallest one you can get. Maybe like, I don't know. Maybe if you could, if, if you could find a one on it. A one out would probably be still too big. Yeah, that's still too big. Maybe like a one or a two. If you could, if you could find it, that would be, that would be the ticket for this. This is this is a cool bait. I'm definitely gonna keep this in mind. But its its presence is so finesse. There's so many ways you could fish this. I mean, you could even still throw this on a trailer or whatever. But this by itself i think would be a super solid bait this is cool i'm really happy to be in here how much was this uh six bucks i mean i'd i'd pay six bucks for that probably the color's even sweet too that's a super solid color I like that bait. That's that might be the coolest thing so far. Yeah, and then we open this micro clutch. Okay, so I've been throwing um, the like the micro and the minis. Always forget that Google basically put that impossible tape on it. Um, I like the micros, and I've been throwing them in the rivers, and I've been trolling them and doing different things with them. The only thing I hate about the lift, uh, the lift crankbaits, 
are in the rivers, the current screws with it and makes it act kind of dumb. And then you end up with it floating or it not reacting or not doing anything quite right when you want it to. Now, a baby lipless, especially in this chartreuse, what color, what, what do they call this color? So I can quote it correctly, tiger. This is a super solid color. I really, really like this. This will be great for the river and this will be great for trolling. That nice little orange belly, those yellow sides, and that, like, that's more of a chartreuse sides. And then, like, that greenish blue back. This, this is cool. This is going directly into the box. I mean, most, some, quite a bit of this that's not already in there is going in there. This is, this is cool. This isn't something I'd normally pick out for myself, especially considering this is the most expensive bait in the box. Because that was eight bucks. There's no way I would go out and buy this for eight bucks. I would definitely probably that's that's like two rooster tails worth of money. That's two maps worth of money. There's a lot of other things that you could buy for the eight bucks for this, but getting in the box, I'm not upset. I'm not upset with that coming in the box at all. Me buying it. Would not happen. Uh, crane swivels from Laker, size number 10. There's 12 of them in here. Um, these are just regular swivels. They're not ball bearing or anything like that. But still, I mean, a swivel is a swivel. You, you need these. They're important for trolling. Oh, oh, I did do it. Oh, oh, almost. Okay. So the last two things in here go with this. Okay, so we'll start with the triple teaser first. So this is a pretty neat little bait. And when I say little, I mean little. This whole month here is super finessey. Okay, so it's kind of like a Swedish pimple, if you know what that is. It's just, the Swedish pimple, it's like a straight bar with a little tail part at the end. A red, I think it's just like a red piece of plastic. Sometimes it's a little red knot right on the hook. It, it works. It works great. Fish think it's a baby fry, and they just hit it. Now, this is pretty cool. This is like a chartreuse with pink slashes down the sides, and you've got that sweet hook there. Okay, the way you fish this is you fish it all rigged up. So, you can fish it with a dodger. You can fish it with a lake troll, which I've got one of these. I could do a video later on explaining this and explaining this. And then keel lead or split shot to a swivel. Yeah, you can do that too. I mean, that that is the way to fish this, is trolling. This is not a casting bait. Um, this is not a bait for the river. This is for the water. I mean, for a boat, for trolling. Which, for some of you guys, that's going to be kind of a kick in the pants. But, I mean, I can troll in the kayak. I can troll in my boat. I, I like this. I will use this. I'll put this to the test and maybe I'll do a rigging video for trolling. I, I don't know how many of you guys like trolling or do trolling or be interested in that, but I'll do it anyway. Alright, so the last thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll just talk about our sticker. So the sticker's pretty cool. I think I've already got this one. Oh, I definitely already have this one. Then we got our monthly book, before we get to that last bait, you know, it's the regular stuff, nothing, nothing too exciting, yeah, okay, anyway, getting on to the, probably what I think is quite possibly either the neatest thing in the box, or not the neatest thing in the box, so this is Lighted Firefly, um, apparently this glows red, it's an eighth of an ounce, it's a little bitty spoon, got a red hook. Okay, so it's supposed to have a light. It's got an eye on it. It's got a nice red hook. Okay, so this is supposed to glow when you put it in water. Oh, oh, it 
actually works here. Let me see if I can turn off the lights so you can you guys can see this. Look at that. Oh. Okay. So. That's that's pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. I wonder what the battery life is on this. Take it out of the water, no glow. In the water, glow. Out of the water. That's that's really cool. That's really neat. <laughs> wow, that's neat. I like it. I am. You know, if you shake it hard enough when it's wet, the light comes back on. Anyway, let's turn those lights back on so I can give you guys a better look at this. Because I think this is neat. Okay. So, yeah, it really is just a little LED. And with a little eyeball on it. Kind of brassy color. Red hook. And so my fingers are wet now so I can turn it off my fingers. Type it. Oh, there, there it goes. That's pretty sweet. All right, let's read the package and, and figure out more about this. Other than, I, so every month I get a little like preview of what's in the box. So I usually know, but I didn't really do a lot of research on this or really check it out that much. Um, this is really, really cool. So it says it's for walleye, bass, pike, trout, salmon, perch, crappie and sunfish. Salmon's out because you can't fish at night for salmon here. Trout is out because, well, most of the rivers around me are closed at night. I guess the lakes you could fish for trout at night. Pike, we don't have pike on my side of the state. Fortunately, unfortunately, I would love to go fishing for pike, but they would, they're invasive for here. Uh, bass, yeah, I can see a bass hitting that at night. A walleye? Definitely. Definitely a walleye hitting that. A crappie or a sunfish? I'm not sure how I feel about it hitting that. Um, jig it, dead stick it, great on tip-ups and rattle reeds. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. What I would like to do with this is throw this behind a dodger and troll this at night in maybe 20 or 30 feet of water and just just see what happens. I mean, yeah, jigging it would totally work, but I want to see what would happen if you trolled it at like 30 feet on slow roll behind a dodger. I think that would be the ultimate ticket for this. All right, um... I should probably stop. Um, we're we're pretty far into this video now, but this this is this is really really neat. Um, yeah, uh, we're getting super close to giveaway time, and for sure things that'll be in the giveaway are gonna be stuff from Six Sense. There's gonna be some Guggen Squad stuff in there. There's going to be uh, Z-Man stuff in there. Chatter baits, swim baits, crank baits soft baits pretty much a whole bunch of stuff like i've i've gathered a bunch of things that i thought would be really neat to have and really neat to be able to give away so that's what i put in the box that i plan on giving away i'm not going to unveil it till we hit that 250 and when we hit that 250 i'll show it to everybody but yeah so we're getting really close guys um this box is super exciting i think i'm definitely gonna go in depth now that I have more stuff like this that is made for, well, this is definitely made for trolling. But I want to try to troll this at night. So we'll see if we can do some nighttime footage. I'll see if I can pick a pretty decent lake that is solid at night. We'll see what we can do. We'll figure it out. All right, that lines, guys. Catch you later.